with Charlotte's hair, it's very fine, limp hair. And as you can see, when I'm lifting it up, it's quite static. This is ideal for products like the iShine Volume Mousse because it gives the volume but also the sleekness in the hair and it will stop all the fly away and lay the cuticles nice and flat. The reason you would tend not to use a serum on Charlotte's hair is because it's very limp hair anyway and the serums will overload the hair too heavy and make it look a little bit greasy. So who would you recommend serums for then? Serums would be ideal for hair which is thick, coarse, curly, wavy hair so that you can actually towel dry the hair, rub lots of serum into the hair and then really smooth the hair out with a paddle brush, nice and sleek. What they do, they lay the, the cuticles flat because when you have thick coarse hair, all the cuticles tend to stick up. So the serums kind of just act as a residue and just lay all the hair nice and flat and sleek. Whereas a mousse can give you the volume and the mousse will help stop the static in Charlotte's hair. So it's ideal for fine hair. I'm just dipping my hand into the mousse and just spreading it underneath into the roots, getting it right in nice and close. I tend to find that when people use mousse on long hair, they just put the mousse into their hand and work it onto the ends. They don't actually work it into the roots. So it's nice to really work the mousse into the roots. Then you finish with just combing it all through. Now I'm just going to dry the mousse into the hair and then I'm going to reapply some more because it gives it extra volume and shine. Like so many customers in the morning, rather than um, reapply the product, they tend to go and shampoo their hair all again and start again. Whereas if you just get the mousse out, reapply it, and you can just work it through and do the same as you did the day before. <laughs> Lifting the roots with my fingers. You don't need a brush. You can do this quite casually. We dried the eye shine mousse into Charlotte's hair and as you can see she's got a little bit more volume now but she's still got the nice shine. We've actually reapplied the mousse twice so we've dried it once when the hair was towel dried and again once when we dried the hair. When I come across clients they always say we wash our hair every day to create volume. You don't need to do that. With the eye shine mousse you can apply the mousse the next day and it just gives you more volume. It just loads up again onto the hair and also it just takes away all the static and anti-frizz from the hair. So it's very good. Now we're just going to go in and just put some heated rollers in to just create that more shine with the volume around the edges. When you put heated rollers into the hair, so many customers think they have to do nice little sections. You can just grab huge sections and just wrap it up into the hair. It does not have to be, you know, like a set pattern. You can just grab any angle when the hair is this length. And obviously these are professional rollers that you're using. Are there, there are versions of these on the high street? There's lots of can... versions of these on the high streets. You can buy them from um, any major stores and they're nice and simple to use. When I do things like this in the salon, we literally put about half a dozen to eight rollers in the hair, so it's nice and quick and simple for the customer to see and achieve themselves. Presumably, the bigger the roller, the more volume you'll get. The bigger the roller, the looser the curl, not the more volume. We don't want to create much volume here. We like the sleekness. We just want the shine, but we just want this little bit more volume around the bottom. That's why I'm using quite large rollers and taking my sections very large. If I wanted to create more volume, I'd take half the section size and use a smaller roller. How long do you need to leave heated rollers in? I normally just say to the clients when they're putting their heated rollers, they do their makeup. When they finish their makeup, take the heated rollers out. So some might take a day and others might take five minutes. Five minutes is plenty because the heated rollers just cool down. And once you feel they've gone from hot to cold, and just take them out. Right now we're just going to remove the rollers from Charlotte's hair and then just brush the hair through. And you will see as we're removing the rollers, the hair will just be left in this nice glossy shine. You can already see the shine that it gives with the mousse on the hair. Just using the eye shine spray so the hair's just falling nicely. The volume. The hairspray gives you the shine and you can still brush and tease the hair. Another good tip with hairspray is always spray them at arm's length because if you spray them very closely what happens you get a wet patch and it dries like 
quite chalky and sticky. So always spray it at arm's length. It's very important you do that so it falls over the hair like a mist rather than banging and wets the hair straight away. And there we have Charlotte's finished look. Lots more volume, but sleek with the shine. It's not fly away, but it still moves. How could you transform this look into a completely different style? Literally, you just grab the hair from the ears and just bring it back into the crown area and just pin it in nicely, just creating this nice evening wearable hair with bouncy curl. So my first section is just there, and we're just going to grip that in. And then finally, the, the bottom section from the ears down, just grab, you pinch it up and you just bring it over into the opposite way and then just grip. It's nice and simple and it's lovely for an evening. Wow.